some strategy to kind of start us out. But really why this matters, why we're here today is everybody is on TikTok. Now, of course, not everybody, but I'm not going to ask you to raise your hands or write in the chat just yet, but I'm willing to bet that there's a good percentage of you that have a TikTok account or on your app, and maybe you've hidden that app, you know, somewhere, or it's in a folder, you know, a couple of scrolls over, you know, it's your your username is user and a bunch of numbers after that. Um, that's typically when I talk to to adults that they say, yeah, you know, I'm on TikTok, but, you know, I don't really have a presence on it. But, you know, at, at very least, middle and high school students are on there. So if you have a middle and a high school uh, and you and we know that students are, you know, more so than ever driving the bus. They're the ones that are, you know, making the the decisions as to where they go and what schools to explore. But there are also absolutely positively young parents on there as well and older ones. So I would say, really, if you're trying to target students and you're trying to target preschool K one, two and three that have typically have younger parents, you know, this is really where you want to be. So first thing is, I want to start off talking about strategy. Then we're going to go on to TikTok itself, and we're going to create uh, a couple of different kinds of ads, and I'll show you, take you through the process of creating those ads, and then really what kind of ads are going to, to get you the most traction as we go along. If you have questions as we go along, as it pertains to what we're doing, please, please, please do put them in the chat. I'll try to answer them as we go along. I want to be mindful of everybody's time. If you have questions that can uh, wait till the end, you can put them in the chat then or certainly you can uh, uh, turn your microphone on and, and ask me, that's obviously a bit of a quicker way. All right, off we go. Uh, as I said at the outset, um, I'm Trevor, I'm with Truth Tree. I'm the founder, I'm the president, principal, whatever you wanna call me of Truth Tree. We do digital marketing for schools and only schools. So we're talking about SEO, SEM, SMM, including TikTok, email marketing and uh, content marketing as well. In addition to Truth Tree, I founded DC School Hub and NY Metro Schools. They were uh, uh, two regional search sites, like private school review or niche, but specific for those areas. And most recently, um, I launched, we launched parentresource.com. Uh, it's a it's a proprietary website where, where anybody who produces content for, for parents that can help parents be better parents. Um, uh, can post on there. It's great for SEO. It's great for, um, you know, showing your authority in certain areas. So if, if, you know, a little bit of plug for parent resource, if you have content that's not rah-rah your school, but really can be helpful to parents in general, um, go on over there, uh, click contact us, submit a blog, and you can do that. Uh, I've been doing this really since 2009 on my own. Before that, you know, hiring firms, to do things, they just didn't get schools. I really found that to be the case as, as we move through the 2010. So that's really why I started Truth Tree was to, I just didn't think that that digital marketing was being done well by you know people that haven't you know been in digital marketing or just marketing in general for schools. Uh, last but not least, I'm a budding guitar sensation. Not really, but. Um, I actually had back surgery uh, eight weeks ago. I've just given be, been given the okay to start doing stuff, but to keep my mind right, I've started play the guitar. Um, I've got a long way to get even to be a sensation in my in my own house. So you didn't come here to to learn about me. You came here to learn about TikTok. Um, let's start off with talking about a little bit about strategy. So the first thing is, and, and I will ask you to kind of write in the chat, how many of you for your school, and write uh, why for yes, how many of you for your school, how many of your schools have a TikTok account? Write why for yes in the, in the chat. So I get yes, no, yes, no. I think it's tied. It's still about tied. Going back and forth, a little bit more no's than, than yeses right now. Okay. So it seems like it's a little bit of a half and half. Who's who's got a presence on TikTok and who doesn't? So the first thing I would say is create your own user account. Um, you don't you don't have to no no information gets out there, and just get just see what's on the app. See as you scroll through what what it's kind of all about. Um, you know some schools that I would say are are more right leaning, especially ones that are a lot more right leaning. TikTok may not be the the app for you. Schools that are more left-leaning 
tend to have more of a lighter um, brand persona. We all, all schools have different kind of brand personas, um, you know, sort of at least within uh, certain parameters. But, you know, if you've got a fun side, if you've got a cool side or you want to kind of show that off, TikTok definitely is a good place for you to be. Um, also, understanding the algorithm, certainly if you're going to advertise and spend money to be on TikTok, you want to understand what the algorithm is, you know, not just with uh, the organic piece of it, but just like with Facebook and Google ads and anything in between, um, you got to know how to target the right people at the right time. And you want that algorithm to show more of your ads because the more ads they show that are viable and the more clicks, the more money that Facebook gets, the more money that Google gets. Same thing with TikTok. They're no different. The more times that you interact with their, with, with, um, there are more times that they interact with your ad that tells Google, or excuse me, that tells TikTok, okay, we want to show this ad to even more people. Um, the next thing is, and, and I'm going to get into some of this, and it, this is one of the really cool aspects of, of TikTok, is that you can actually see what ads, they will. you can see what ads in different industries and for different objectives are doing the best. So you can say, okay, well, we want to do an ad for our preschool. What preschools are already advertising and what is their success rate? So I'm going to show you a couple examples of like, wow, that's that's this is what a great ad looks like. We can recreate an ad just like that. The other piece is you want to test organically. So when your school does have an account, um, whether it does now or will in the future, test out organic uh, content. What's you know, if you post 20 uh, uh, 20 TikToks, what are the top three? What do they have in common? Is it hashtags? Is it things that you're saying? Is it the video itself? Is it the music? And then what's that 18, 19, 20th? And what's the difference between the two? That way, when you post and you're paying for advertising on TikTok, you're going to get the most bang for your buck. Um, you want to pay attention to what texts you're putting in there. So this is something that I do with, with, with our TikToks at Truth Tree is Hey, why did this one get, you know, 1600 views versus 900 views versus 2700 views? Because certainly not all 2700 people are uh, uh, school marketers. So why did they, why have they interacted with my content? Why are they now following uh, Truth Tree? Uh, there's, a, there's a few different ways to find that out, but certainly you just got to do some digging. Uh, the last thing I'll say, and, and this is, I think, where a lot of times schools, you know, you've got the the all school video, the three minute video that kind of is the all encompassing piece that you have on your website. When it comes to TikTok, and we just know this in general about how the mind works is you got to win the first two seconds. Any, any, any ad that you put out there, look at the first two seconds, press pause after two seconds and ask yourself and ask other people what is this? Tell me what you just saw in two seconds. If they're like, I don't know yet, or it's unclear, you need to go back and kind of redo that piece to it. So, and the other piece, the, the last is, is what kind of content you put on there. So your, your all encompassing school video talks about the whole school, but there, there's a part of your school. I call it the, the, you know, the, the, al, the um, albino Sasquatch. There's two to 5% of what you do that you do the best or no other school does. And a lot of schools are like, no, 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 we do so much. You know, mm, think about it. Two to 5%. What is your super niche that you do that no other school does or you do better than every other school? And then how that might uh, uh, intersect with what's trending on there. I, I mean, crazy stuff. Uh, critiquing people doing uh, uh, cooking things. Uh, hooving, I mean, hooving horses. All right, shaving the the hoof off of a horse is it, millions and millions and millions of views. Who would have known that a farrier, if you know what a farrier is, um, could be a TikTok sensation or a guy chopping wood? A guy chopping wood is an, is a sensation. If you've got somebody at your school who chops wood or teaches chopping wood, get that on TikTok now. All right. So. In the ads that we're going to show you, we're going to use a mock school. It's called Truth Tree Academy, and here's here are the bullet points. It's a K to 12 day school. It's in Philadelphia. I'm from Philly. Know the area. Um, they want to really establish themselves. They're a STEM school, but they really want to be seen as the STEM school in the area. Now, their average tuition because they're K to 12 is thirty four thousand dollars. 
They're slightly right-leaning, not too far right-leaning. So we've got to keep that in mind when we think of, of the ethos of the school and how it's going to translate into a TikTok. And their primary entry grades are K to nine. So in what I'm going to show you as how we go through, it's going to be more general, but certainly you want to create ads, you know, a as you know, the parent of, an, of a kindergartner is not looking for the same thing that a parent of a ninth grader is looking for. Yes, there's going to be overlap, but we want to make sure that if we're pushing ads out there, they're to the right audience. But we're going to see that there's a little bit of a compromise because who and how you target people and the size of that audience and what you're trying to accomplish, there may not be uh, uh, as much overlap as you hope. All right, are we all ready to rock? Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. Let's do this, let's create some TikTok ads. So I'm gonna pull this down, pull this across. So uh, I said in one of the emails uh, reminders to this is if you, if, you haven't set, if you haven't set up a TikTok for business account, and again, you don't actually have to have a TikTok account, you or your school, to set this up to go to go along with me. So the first thing you would do is you're gonna, oops, sorry, you're gonna click create now and I'm gonna kind of go through this with each tab as we go along. Um, once you get to this tab here, I'm gonna click, actually, I don't wanna do Truth Tree Consulting, I wanna do Parent Resource. So um, after you click that, you're actually gonna see this screen here. You're gonna click Ads Manager. And it's going to pop you out to your dashboard. Now, I don't have any. Oh, I do have one active running, and I want to pause that. So that's always the fun thing when you're when you're when you're creating these as you go along. Ah, so the one thing I was going to warn at the beginning of this is that uh, TikTok can be a little wonky. So I've created some stuff ahead of time because a lot of times you're going to get the little spinny ball um because it's loading loading i've dumped my cash i've done everything i can on my computer to make it as fast as possible but that's not always going to be the case so hopefully this doesn't start running because there is no school and if, frankly if somebody contacts us maybe we will start a school if we're getting some inquiries through um through uh, our TikTok ad that we've created. So again, we've got our dashboard up here. It's a lot of what we're gonna do is gonna look, it's gonna look and feel similar if you've done Facebook ads, also a little bit of Google in there. So, you know, I'm probably gonna say that more than a few times that this is a lot like creating a Facebook ad. One thing you'll notice, and, and even, you know, just over the past few days, uh, some of these things are new. So, you know, analyzing your video for video insights, uh, smart performance, ads. What else do we have here today? Um, different things about iOS. A lot of these things as they come through, much like with Google and Facebook and, and other platforms, is it's ways for you to do things easier. So these platforms, so TikTok can get your money. Okay. They're a business, they want your money. And they and if it seems difficult, if there's friction, if you don't know how to get to the next step, you may just leave and say, I don't know how to do this. They want to avoid that but I don't want you creating ads that aren't targeting what you want them to create. So this is obviously, this is where you'll be able to see all of the insights and, and who you're targeting and how you're targeting and how different campaigns are doing. Um, we're gonna get to campaigns in a second because we're gonna create one um, for our ads. And if that gets a little wonky, we'll just go back out and I'll show you sort of how I've already created one. All right, assets. So the first thing that you should do, of course, is you want to track to see how when people are coming to your website, if they do through a TikTok ad, what, you know, how are they experiencing your site? Where are they going? What are they doing? What pass? How long are they on your site? You want to be able to see that information so you can say, wow, people are coming to our site through a TikTok ad, spending time on here on relevant pages. And based on our pixel, we know that, you know, we've gotten two form fills because hopefully you're not just sending them to your homepage, you're sending them to a dedicated landing page. So you would click events and a lot, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to sort of gloss over is because, you know, TikTok, what does best are products. You're not a product, you're a service. You provide a service to parents or, uh, or to students on behalf of their parents or the other way around. So we're not going to worry about app events. You would go into web events 
And depending on whether you're WordPress or Final Site or, or uh, Digistorm or any of the uh, uh, companies that create school specific websites, um, you are going to set up your web event. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just gonna save time and put some letters in here. You can do a TikTok pixel, you can do an event API. Again, I'm not gonna spend too much time in here. Your website provider or your webmaster, if you were to say, hey, we need to hook this up, they're gonna be able to help you. You create all this stuff, get your pixel, install it, um, and off you go. Uh, creatives, this is where you can add photos, you can add uh, videos that you've already created. You'll see that I pre-populated some in here. Um, here are some videos. These are images that I've populated. Interestingly, we're talking TikTok, so we're talking vertical. I have not found a way around this. If you're doing TikTok ads already, number one, congratulations. But I, I, I've found a workaround, but interestingly is you can't, you have to import photos that aren't in the right format for a TikTok, okay? You have to, uh, they have to sort of be the, the more landscape version. And then hopefully you've captured a picture where you can make it more of that vertical. I'll show you a way kind of around that as we go along. Playable ads, that is more for um, products. Spark ads. So Spark ads are if you, uh, it's, it's like a Facebook boost. So you take an organic and you boost it. So it's the same thing here. You take one of your organic uh, uh, ads that you have run, or excuse me, your organic posts that you're running and wow, this is amazing, it's doing so well. Obviously it's resonating with people, it's highly engaging. Let's show it to more people. Love that option. I've always loved that option for Facebook. Just a, a social tip for everybody if you're not doing this is, if you post something on any social network and you're getting a lot of likes, loves, comments and shares, um, you know, definitely consider it. Even if it's not a, a, a recruitment type piece or an event, boost that, boost that out there because it's not just about like getting people to call you or email you or fill out a form. But if I see an ad for something where I'm like, man, that's really cool what they're doing at that school. And I even have remote interest in something like that. And I see, because it's the social proof that says, wow, there's like 75 loves and 29 comments and 15 shares. That's pretty cool. I'm going to read some of those comments. and like, man, I, they're doing some really awesome stuff at that school. And the parents seem to love it or whoever's making these comments. So same thing with TikTok. I mean, whenever I look at a TikTok and I see like a ton of loves, likes and stuff like that, I'm like, man, this is like pretty awesome. Like whether it is or isn't, somebody thinks it is. So a little part of me at least thinks it does. Um, instant forms. So instant form, it's not something I would use right off the bat. Again, nobody is coming to TikTok, crossing their fingers and saying, I really hope I see an ad for a school because I hope they have an instant form because I'm, I'm immediately gonna fill out this form, give you my email, give you my name. And then, oh, okay, great. I've given you those things. I'd like more information, or I'd like to schedule a tour, or I'd like to start the application process. I can guarantee you nobody is coming to TikTok, crossing, double crossing their fingers and saying, man, if there's an, if there's an opportunity to uh, um, apply to a school for my child, absolutely am I gonna do that through TikTok. All this information here, if you are gonna do this, please, please, please do this. This is another huge tip I see a lot of times People land on a landing page. They love your school. They absolutely love your school. They fill out a form. It says, we'll be in contact soon. And then, you know, they probably aren't doing it from like their, you know, we all have those other email addresses, you know, those other email addresses where, you know, we just instinctively put that email address in whenever we fill out a form or frankly, it autofills, even if it does go to a primary inbox. And then I get an email from Trevor Wadding that says, received your inquiry. Well, how many emails do you get like that are essentially clickbait that say something like that. Nobody knows who I am because they came to a page and filled out a form. That's why what I love to do is this, which is, hey, thanks for reaching out. Be on the lookout for an email from Trevor Waddington, our director of admission, all right? And then make sure in the subject line, you're putting truth tree, you saw us on TikTok. You do not want to have a parent miss your email, um, gloss by it or just delete it because they're like, I don't know who this person is and I don't understand the subject line. And then they're, oh man, I filled out that form a few days ago and they never got back to me. 
All right, any questions so far? Again, put those in the chat. Um, we've got our assets. That's our instant uh, page uh, audiences. So I forgot about audiences here. So again, this is where you can import your audiences. You have to have a big list to do this. Um, just like with any, you know, with, with Google, with uh, uh, social, with Facebook, you can import your, your contacts, whether they are current families, um, prospective families, you need a big enough list. So I always say, hey, just get all of the families you've had in the past 10 years, anything to go above a thousand, um, that's, where you, that's where you wanna be. People have been to your website, but again, if you're, doing, if you're doing the first one and you've just installed your pixel and you don't have a big customer file, Really, you want to try to tackle those known unknowns anyway, those people that you know may want to school or probably want to school. All right, I said it at the outset, one of the things I just, I absolutely love about TikTok ads is this uh, function here, creative inspiration. Again, they want your money. I'm not going to keep focusing on that, but you're like, I, I know how to create the ads. This is great. You know, I'm very technical and all this stuff, but I'm not a creative. I don't know how to, like what, what do people like or what should I even put in these videos? So with the creative inspiration, what they're going to say is like, hey, here are top ads on TikTok right now. These are the top ads running on TikTok. So you can actually search by industry. So I'll go down here to education. Come on, alphabetical order. There we go. And I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do primary and early childhood you can also do higher ed. I'll do higher ed as well. I know there's a few colleges in the room, but those are going to dominate um, what we show here. Yeah, you know, higher ed, higher ed, higher ed, higher ed. Um, so let me, I'm going to take out higher ed for right now. And I'm going to leave it at primary and uh, early childhood. Then you can also do it by objective. Like, okay, what primary schools are getting the most conversions or lead generation or just reach or traffic? We're actually going to create a traffic ad. So I'm going to leave it at that. So here, here's, a, here's an example, um, and you can even see what the click-through rate is. Well, I did, all right, I want to go back 180 days so we can really see. So this ad here, 1,600 plus likes, 80 comments, 12 shares. Um, it's a long video, and you know, you've got some people that have watched it all the way through, but you also have some people that haven't. So again, this is why I, I'm not a huge fan of the very long video. I think 45 seconds is a bit long. But you'll I'm see. Jessie, and I'm Jesse, Lydia's mom. And we love stories. What do you like most about Upstart, Lydia? Um, so this is super organic. It's not like it's, you know, you can tell that there's not, you know, a film crew doing this. What you don't see with these are, you know, the icons and the masks that usually are here. You know, here it would say sponsored, learn more. There'd be some, you know, content here. Up along this side, you're going to have, um, you know, the different icons that continue that, that are with any post that you have on there, whether it's an ad or not. But what's cool about this, again, is that you can see what's trending, what kind of stuff. Like, here's another one. Available to all Colorado kids, helping them take their... And then another one right here. So use these as inspiration. Go in, see, see what really is resonating um, with folks at, or what's resonating with folks and what kind of ads you can create that are going to do well. All right, let's go, let's start. Let's do, let's run through a campaign here. So I've, again, I've got some that I've started over here and I've actually finished. I'm gonna turn this one off here because um, then I don't wanna get charged for advertising for something that doesn't exist. So we're gonna start off by creating ads. We're not gonna do simple mode. This is the way, this is just a quick way for you to spend, you know, go through cash in a second. We're gonna do custom mode. So first thing is we need to under, we need to decide what objective we are going to to have. I would say at least at the outset, at very at, you know reach and traffic. Uh, we're not worried about website conversions yet, lead generation. Again, people aren't coming here. You're not a thirty-five dollar widget that I'm like, yeah, sure, like I'll check this out or sign up for a subscription to it where I pay thirty-five dollars a month to you know get a pair of sunglasses delivered to my house every day. Um, let's just do traffic. We want to see what kind of traffic comes to the site. We'll call this, um, you know, general awareness. If I could spell traffic. And if I spell something wrong, um, I spell something wrong. I want to make sure that you're getting everything out of this that you can. 
You're not housing, you're not employment, you're not credit. Um, we don't need to click any of those. Again, this is our first time doing this, so I'm not gonna do split tests. We're at this point, we're not gonna optimize our budget just yet. And when we go in, you'll be able to set your campaign budget. Um, it's actually a, at least $20 a day. They, they flash in 50 and it says, well, 50 here, no. Uh, when you go in, you'll be able to set it for 20. All right, ad group. Um, you can add, obviously, you know, you know how this works. You can add, you can call these whatever you want. I'll just call this TT1 um, as we go through here. Um, unless you are promoting an app, you want to stick with websites. Um, raise your hand if you've ever heard of Pangle, P-A-N-G-L-E. Have you ever heard of Pangle? Put a Y in the chat, a Y for yes in the chat. If you've heard of Pangle, P-A-N-G-L-E. I'm seeing no whys. Great. So you can automatically place or you can select placement and unclick Pangle. All right. If this is your first time, you want to control your brand on TikTok as much as possible. OK, it's a bit of the Wild West. It's not for everybody. So you want to make sure you're controlling your narrative as much as possible. So I'm going to select placement. I only want the ad showing up on Pangle. Uh, similar to, to that one there, if I do select automated creative optimization, the ad will be automat uh, automated to show your audience the combination that can maximize your results. That translates to, we're going to show this quick to a lot of people, and you're going to say, wow, look at all of these views, and actually look at all of these likes and loves, but it doesn't it doesn't translate into anything, and a lot of those likes and loves are coming from, as you look at them, I'm like, Hmm, that doesn't really look like somebody who might be interested in a school. Um, we can do automatic targeting, um, but if you're if you're used to uh, creating uh, social media ads, you know you know how the rest of this stuff works. Um, so here's where it gets a little interesting as to where you are located in the United States, in North America, or in the world. Um, you have you can choose from different countries. So certainly if you are a boarding school um, and you can target any of these areas, great. I know most of the people, I know not all, but most of the people here are in the United States. So when you click on the United States, you can choose from a, a demographic market area. Uh, I think that's what DMA stands for. I forget. Or you can choose by state. Now, when you click on state, you can then choose, when you click on state, you can then choose them. Uh, some of them, you can only choose the state like Arkansas. Others like Arizona, you can choose uh, by county and then you can choose by the cities in that county. If your city is not there, then you're going to need to choose state. Um, so it doesn't have that Uber targeting, the, the, the geo-targeting capabilities that like a Facebook has. Um, so just keep that in mind. But if you're in a major area, um, you can certainly target um, your demographic market area. So again, uh, Truth Tree Academy is in Philadelphia. So I'm going to target the Philadelphia market. And you can just Google to see like, what does that encompass? What is that area? Up here in the right-hand corner, you'll be able to see the audience that's available to that. I'm going to pull down the targeting summary. All right. So again, this is, you know, this ad that I might be creating, maybe me more for, um, for parents. So if that's the case, and I'm a K to 12 school, I'm probably going to, you know, I'm going to do all the way up to, I might even do up to 55. I mean, certainly there are, you know, older parents out there. We all know that. So I'm going to target this whole group here. I'm going to skip over the 18 to 24. And then again, if it, if it was an ad that was, had that sort of cool factor across everything, I may include 13 to 17. But I want to target these folks because I want to see where this, these numbers go. Now it's a 34K a year school. So uh, I want to at very least do um, the top 25. I may want to do even the top 50. We'll see how some of the other, um, the other um, uh, audience pieces go. Uh, this is the interesting part as we, as we come down here to, um, to the uh, uh, interests and behaviors. So a couple things are, as you scroll through here initially, you've got education, great. You're a K to 12 school, you're gonna to wanna to do uh, early childhood, you're gonna to wanna to do preschool. Um, 
okay, I see a couple other things that might work, but mm, okay, I have that. And I've got a pretty small audience right now. They're always going to say narrow, but you're talking, you know, 30 to 40,000 people here. All right, but how do I target parents? How do I target parents? Well, it's actually under apps. And if you click apps, which is at the very bottom, you can also go back to education, learning tools, exam prep. You can click here and you're going to add more people. See all the, we're over 100,000. What I would suggest is do this. Just go to the search and type in parent or parenting. And you're going to see a whole bunch uh, more search results. I'm just going to click a lot of these. I mean, new parents, probably not yet. Um, my parents, some of these are really weird. Parenting tips is a good one. All parents is going to give us, you know, it's going to skyrocket this up. So we've got a good group here. I say, you know, play around with this. You know, if there, if there are ones that are really kind of in your niche, awesome. Um, we'll leave it at that. We want to kind of have at least a, a wide grouping at le in, in the beginning, and then we can narrow it down with the next, you know, few ads. So I'm not gonna worry about these right now, hashtags, creator interactions, video. Again, this is our first time. Remember I said how they wanted $50 a day on the outside. Well, guess what? If we come in here and we do 20, they're cool with that. If I do 19, they're not cool with that. So a minimum $20 a day. Uh, I know you're not all set it and forget it people. Uh, so you certainly can. So you don't wanna forget, you can run it between the first and the 15th for two weeks. So you're not all of a sudden hit with a bill that's hundreds of dollars, you know, or thousands of dollars in April or May and say, oh my goodness, like what, uh, you know, where did all that money go? Oh, TikTok. Oh, I forgot to turn that off. Uh, we can do it for clicks. We can do it for landing pages as far as the optimization of the bid goes. I'm going to stick with clicks for now. And for right now, I want the lowest cost because I want to see what kind of bang for my buck I can really get. All right, just going back up to the top real quick, just a, a quick review of what we did on this page is uh, we named the ad group websites. We're only focusing on TikTok here. We kept this unclicked. We're gonna do a, a custom targeting. Uh, the school's in the Philadelphia area. So we're gonna do, you can also just do Philadelphia. I mean, I can just do Philadelphia if I, do Philadelphia County, or I can just do Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We'll see how that goes. So it's even smaller group. If if you're based in Philadelphia and you only draw from Philadelphia, which is kind of weird, but um, uh, you can do that as well. All right, now we get to the creative aspect of, of the ad. So we'll just call this one, uh, one, two, three, four for right now. All right, again, if you wanna do the Spark ads, if you want to essentially boost one of your posts, you can do that here. And again, this is where it gets wonky and slow. So, but the thing is, obviously, if you're gonna do that, you need to have an organic account. So you would have to link that. So we're gonna unclick this here. Click it back, come on, there we go. Uh, collection ads here, that's again, that's more of, of TikTok saying, hey, we'll take care of everything. Don't worry about it. Just have some assets in there and we'll take care of it. We wanna create our own. Now, this is where you don't need to be creative. You may say, okay, I can do all this, but you know, I don't know how to create, uh, you know, I don't have you know, video editing software. I mean, I'll tell you right now, Canva is great. You can just type in TikTok. I'm sure most of you have Canva. Uh, if you don't get it, it's, uh, it's like $13, $15 a month. We use it at Truth Tree. We use it for our school partners. Fantastic, fantastic um, uh, platform to use that you can create those videos. If you don't have that, if you don't know how to use that, all you need to do is have photos and be able to type because you can actually create ads with photos. They look, They can look great. They can look really great. Bunch of different ways, again, to, that you can create these ads. Um, you can upload your own video, as I said before. You can pull stuff in from your video library. Um, you can create your own by, come on, by uploading uh, content. So what I would have to do is upload stuff. So actually, I do want to, I, I do want to kind of go through this one because I'd say it's the easiest. So if you're creating one. Uh, but I do want to go back up because this is the other thing I really love about this is, is, again, if you're on TikTok, you know that you're swiping, swiping, swiping. It's got to catch your attention. 
And it may hold your attention, the video itself for two seconds, but the more you can tell them in words exactly what this is, the better. So instead of saying Truth Tree Academy, which may not resonate, if I'm in this ad, we're going to we're going to really uh, tout our STEM program because we want people to know that we're the best STEM program. So I could use the K to 12 school in Philadelphia that you see right here. For this one, we're going to say, say, say STEM school in Philly. Uh, I can go down here and say uh, looking for the top STEM school. Now, you really do need to be mindful. I think it is about 30. Um, after 30, and you got to kind of click out of it, um, it does the dot, dot, dot. And, you know, people aren't going to read that as much. So I like to kind of keep everything that everything that you type in is seen. So I'm going to create uh, an ad from the start. I'm actually going to do it with. Um, I'm going to do it with uh, photos that I just pull in from here. So I've put these already in here. We'll do these two. Let's add this photo here. Actually, I don't need this one because it's doubled up. Pop them in here. And it does take a few seconds. And if it slows down, we'll, we'll leave. You can move these around. I can put this one down here. Oh, they're not going to let me do it yet. Oh, they're going to let me do it when, oh, because, sorry, I'm going to be creating my own video. So here are the photos I want. So I'm going to pop this in here. Um, Oh, they didn't give me the option to choose how long I wanted my video. So if I want to do a 20 second video, uh, I'll do five seconds with this one, five seconds with this one, and build it on out. And you kind of get the idea. So I don't know if I put this one in here. So pop this in here for five seconds. And again, you get the idea. Um, after this, you get to choose your music. Choose popular songs. I would say, please listen to the entire song. Please listen to the entire song. Not all of these songs that are listed are going to be appropriate songs using appropriate lyrics. Some of the most, um, you know, kind of iconic TikTok songs are wildly inappropriate. Um, can uh, Marine asks, can you use copyrighted songs with a business account? Um, if they have permissions in them, um, some of these, um, as I scroll down, no, none of them in here, if I do, let's see, tracks with high spend, um, some of these will have uh, the markings that say you need to have, let's see. Um, all right, here's a good example. I know you can't see all of it because it gets cut off, but uh, that this music may have copyright infringements. A lot of times it has to do with, they don't want their music being associated with like a not super appropriate uh, TikTok. So, you know, if it has any of those qualifications, yeah, they don't like those things. So um, let's see, we'll listen to this. All right, so far so good. Actually, it's a little bit of, I already know that this song is so far so good. So we're gonna pop that one in there. Nope. Oh, I hit the wrong button and started to create the ad. But, you kind of get the idea so far. Now, here's the thing is when you create this, I didn't put any like written content in here and this is gonna take a little bit of time to render. Um, and it doesn't meet the requirements because I didn't do it right. So at this point, I'm actually gonna kind of go back to, and you gotta put your URL in here. Again, it's just like a social ad. So I'm actually gonna go back to the, back to the dashboard and I'm gonna show you Yes, I want to leave and it's going to stick. There we go. Or I'm going to go back to campaigns. And this is an this is one that I created earlier today, just so you guys can um, get a good view of everything. And it's going to populate over here. It's not going to um, open up all the way for me. So we're going to go to... Yeah, hold on. Let's go to this one here. Come on. All right, let's just go to add then. And we're gonna edit this video. And we've got the name, we've got the video. So what you can then do when you go in is you're going to, uh, you're gonna create a new video. 
All right, you're gonna create a new video. It, it gives you the prompts to do this. What that then allows you to do is you're gonna be able to write in your own sort of script stuff. So one thing to be very mindful of when you do this, because you can do all of that stuff, but once it's done, you can't go back in and edit it. So I wanted to show you this example specifically because you can see that what I put in here is covered up by uh, content that we've already put in here. So if you're able to see this, and again, we're touting the STEM program. So I just put in some general terms here. But you can see that it's covered up. It doesn't look great. I put some effects behind it. I said, check this out right up here. So that's what we were able to do with that. We can now add some, um, some more interactive elements to this. You can do like uh, an intro piece, you can do a countdown. So maybe it's in a countdown to your, to your admission event, countdown to the application deadline. Um, you can ask people to answer questions or to, to do a poll with something interactive. You can add stickers. There's a lot, lot, lot of opportunity to get really creative with this stuff. And really the more creative you are, the more creative you can show your audience it really does show that your brand persona is, 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 is a creative one. All right, as far as the, um, the ad creation is concerned, what questions do you have? Put in the chat what any questions you have, and I'll try to kind of answer them as best I can with um, TikTok, probably gonna get a little wonky as we kind of go through this. What questions do you have at this point? As far as the ad creation, because the next part that we're gonna go into um, is, really some tips on creating this so you can get the most bang for your buck as we go along. Any questions so far that you wanna put in the chat? Can you make a TikTok video and then choose to turn it into an ad later? Yeah, Paul, this is really where you can, uh, and now again, you have to have that organic account, which obviously if you do, if you're creating a, a TikTok. So that's where you can um, create a, all right, I'm having to leave this. A spark post. So this essentially is you can create organic ads by and you have to get authorization to do that. Really to get authorization, really all you need is um, to have an organic account that you link to that, to the ads account. So uh, Eric, sorry. If if this was covered already, um, how does the cost of TikTok ads compare to social media? Actually, that hasn't been covered, Eric, and that's a good question. Um, it is not as expensive if you're doing it right than Facebook. Um, it's, it's more expensive than Google. So in the beginning, when you're first starting to do this, and it's just like any platform, TikTok has to sort of learn who you are, what landing page you're sending them to, if that's the case, just kind of what you're all about. And so it is going to cost a little bit more, but the more targeted you can be, certainly if you're going to use certain hashtags in them, certain descriptions, um, it starts to tell TikTok, like, okay, these are the best people that I should show this to. Um, I don't want to show it to all these other people because I know those other people um, aren't going to click on this and not give us money because they've clicked on it. So I just want to send it to these people here. All right. So um, it gets cheaper as you go along. Um, it'll start actually it'll start off being more expensive than than Facebook. If you do LinkedIn marketing, I, I, I haven't found any platform that's more expensive than LinkedIn. Um, but you can certainly get it below uh, Facebook because, again, they have the best algorithm, I would say, to show ads to the right people or really to show any um uh, any post, whether it's paid, sponsored, you know, or organic. And that's why, I mean, especially for the younger crowd, I mean, it is, it dwarfs Facebook. It's well surpassed Instagram as to, you know, 90 minutes a day, uh, 18 and under are spending on TikTok. 90 minutes, nine zero, an hour and a half, they're spending on TikTok on average, obviously if they're on TikTok. Um, Megan asks, this was awesome. A lot to learn. Uh, oh, will Tree Tree offer this as a new part? Yes, uh, Megan. I mean, we're we're already offering it. We're already uh, providing TikTok ads to to some of our to to some of our partners right now. Um, results, brand awareness. 
again, nobody's going to be filling out. I think we've had like two form fills. So nobody's filling out these forms or nobody's clicking on these ads to fill out the forms. It's sending them to a page. You know, we say this don't have a boring page because they just left TikTok to go to your page. It needs to be an exciting page. It really needs to kind of match the ethos of the ad. Other questions? All right, let me pull up the presentation um, and go on to our next slides here. All right, a couple tips, and I've alluded to this a little bit already. Showcase the lighter, the fun, the cool side of your brand. And that may just be one small aspect of your school. The band, the sports team, the this. Maybe you've got like a kooky science teacher who likes to do experiments. Make those your TikToks. Advertise those. I, I, we're like, well, but that's not promoting the school. It is promoting your school. It, it, because that, you know, as they come on here and they say, wow, that's a really cool science teacher. I would love to, oh my gosh, this is a school. I can actually have this person potentially as, a, as my science teacher. I mean, then you may have people saying, I'm only coming to your school if I get, you know, Dr. Smith as my science teacher. Next thing is, is, is this stuff, this content that you're creating doesn't just have to be for, uh, um, for TikTok. You can download this content, particularly if you're creating it originally in any any of the like i'm just going to go back to Conver, or any of the uh, video editing platforms that are out there you can put it on reels you can put it on shorts um you know it's it's not overlapping uh truth tree our um you know the tiktoks that we put out there they also go on shorts they also go on reels they go or you know they we we put them into linkedin um we put them everywhere uh, but we know that, you know, it's it's a, it's originally created for TikTok because it's in that format. Um, interact with users to build the algorithmic awareness. This is the big thing with, with TikTok is algorithmic awareness. Knowing what content that they like that's going to get seen the most and really kind of trying to tap into that. I think I go back to the, um, to the uh, uh, creative insights that they have so you can see what hashtags are trending? Let me go back to that real quick. Um, under reporting again, creative inspiration. And you can see that, you know, in the industry of, uh, of education, regardless of objectives or anything like that, and I go to 180 days and we scroll down here. No, that didn't. Oh, sorry. I've got to do it down here. Aha. Come on. And we'll do last 120 days. Um, Chinese. So these are, I mean, you know, why some of these are, are trending? I don't know exactly. Um, I get Black History because we just, we just left Black History Month. Study. That makes sense. It has to do with education, earth. I mean, so why are these specific ones? That's where you can kind of figure out what the trends are. Okay, science. Um, and where are they trending to? So if it's not trending at all in the United States, like, okay, if I'm in the United States, I don't necessarily have to have to worry about that. So if you want to follow us on, on social media, uh, get your phone out right now. Scan this QR code here. Um, follow us on not only TikTok. I mean, obviously it's TikTok. They're short. We put a, and and uh, uh, YouTube Shorts. We put out a lot of. I mean, some quick how-to videos. Uh, other ones just you know on tips and tricks on how to market digitally to you know everybody that's in your really your sphere of influence uh, that you're trying to get to. So go ahead and scan that. Um, It'll bring all those things up. Love it if you give us a follow. Um, check out some of our content on all of those. I'll give you like one more second while I take a drink to scan this as I before I go on to the to the next the next slide. All right. At this point, I want to open it up. If anybody has questions that they want to um, turn their mics uh, or turn their mics on, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, and uh, ask any questions that maybe you know may take a little bit more time in the in the chat. So if you have a question, I am all ears. 
Any questions out there that I can answer? I know it's a lot, lot, lot to digest. Okay, I've got one. Can you hear me? I can. Who, who's, who's, who, am I, who am I listening Kim. to? This is Kim from Westridge. Oh. How are you? Hey, uh, hey, Kim, I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. Um, I'm just curious if you're feeling staff wise and attention wise kind of tapped out with Google and Facebook and Instagram, how do you suggest we kind of prioritize TikTok and kind of when and how we either get in or start dipping our toes in? Well, first thing I, I would do is like any platform, it's a land grab to begin with. So uh, get an account. You don't have to have it live. Get an account. So you make sure that you you brand your TikTok correctly. Um, if you remember back in the days of Twitter, when people said, hey, wait a minute, I, I can, uh, you know, you've got a lot of authentic or real and then it's the person's name. Um, and they said, well, I want my own name. And they'd pay somebody $10,000 who took their actual name. Yeah. Um, same thing here. I mean, nobody's trying to get school names, at least I don't think they are, but certainly <laughs> you need to make sure that, you know, if you're, if you're a St. John's or any school name that is the same as, as others, you want to make sure that you're able to get that brand as soon as possible. Um, but really if, if you were kind of tapping out on some of the on some of the other social networks um but you have the bandwidth uh it's certainly a place where i would have a presence particularly if you are uh a middle or a high school um because they're, they're on there they're all on there and you know, really to kind of just show them ads whether they're interested or not again it's 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 that awareness piece that like you are the cool school in town because of the videos that they get to see. And, and certainly they may follow you as well. Um, and obviously that as they see the ads and they interact with ads that are similar, they're then more apt to, to see your organic um, as it rolls through and or similar videos as well. Good question. Okay, thank you. Maureen asks, what is the optimal length of a video? 20 to 30 seconds, I'd say 20 uh 20 seconds and but don't you know like well i can fit this in here and this in here really watch it critically like is this cool for 10 seconds is this cool for 20 seconds if it's cool for 15 seconds make it a 10 second video um hi this is jody ann davis um, hi, hi how are you hi, i'm gonna a question I, I i'm a a big fan of tiktok but i just had a question in terms of what you saw the you see the future of it as as a lot of places are or in the government they're trying to they're talking about banning TikTok mm -hmm. in a lot of places. I know a lot of universities have banned the use of TikTok on campus. And is it a situation where it's use it as long as we can um, while their people are on it? Or you know, I just want to know your thoughts on that. Well, I mean, that's the beauty of of shorts and reels is if if it if it disappears tomorrow. Um, I hope I mean hopefully you haven't just put the content on there and deleted it elsewhere, but all, all of those folks they're going to go somewhere and there's always a new app on the horizon uh, and that's accelerating. There's always something new out there, um, whether it's app based, whether it's Twitch. Um, you know we encourage our school partners like you need to be on Nextdoor whether it's paid or not. You 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 know you need to at least have an account on TikTok at this point voice first. And it's just the, the market is there. This is what's at the top right now. Um, yes, TikTok will eventually fade away because something will take its place. We didn't think anything would sort of overtake Facebook and, and Facebook is diminishing in popularity. Although people who are leaving Facebook, I'm like, oh my gosh, ramp up your Facebook because there's so much more space there because people are still there. This is where they spend their time. Um, you know, call it wasted time or not but this is where people are. This is where they live. This is where they're most influenced. Other questions? Oh, uh, Eric says, what schools are doing a great job creating organic content? Um, it depends on what you mean by great content. Some of them it's, uh, you know, it's, rah-rah type stuff. Like it's a lot about how great the school is. I think the ones that are creating, and that's great for kids. I mean, kids are like, yeah, I want to get in on this hype. 
I think the ones that that are going to be the most long lasting because they're not sort of event based or come to our open house or, you know, rah rah about the big game against the rival for basketball or football that's coming up. But the ones that, you know, there's an ongoing theme. Uh, one of our schools, it's um, it's a what do they call it? It's I don't want to sort of give all of it away, but it's the head of school sort of like funny, quirky one and a half. Uh, or not one and a half, uh, 30 to 45 second video, um, give some just tips, uh, parenting tips, things like that. Uh, quick tips on how to get your kid to read anything that you can consume in 30 seconds. And for me as a parent to say, oh my gosh, that's great. I'm going to go do that with my kid right now. Um, that's a reflection on your brand. So I think that's the best kind of stuff uh, to kind of push out there. All right. I think there's one other question. I can figure out our philosophy. I mean, as far as philosophy with this is concerned, um, you know, again, it's it's a place where you can experiment as long as you're true to your your school and your ethos, and you're not kind of putting yourself in a position to be not say attacked, but just I mean, any of these platforms, you know, you you people can just chime in. But I think you really just need to be true to yourself. You don't want to go too far out of bounds and and be just super wacky if that's not who you are but certainly if, if your school has personality like i you know i like truth treaty like we're a fun place to work i think we have fun with our partners we're not super buttoned up i'm not wearing a shirt and tie right now um and you know i i think i wore a suit yesterday at a conference i was speaking at for the first time and gosh knows how long so um yeah that's how i would kind of answer that so we're up against the two o'clock so if, if you feel comfortable, like, hey, if I, if I need to start Google, or excuse me, if I need to start TikTok ads tomorrow, I feel good. Um, or, hey, this is in my back pocket for when it does come. Um, awesome. If you feel like you're good, you're good with social, you're good with any of the stuff, um, have an awesome, awesome day.